The first thing to do is name the product table in order to make the rest of the formulas easier to write. To fill out the product name column, use a VLOOKUP. The first argument is the product ID to the left. The second is the product table. The third is which column we need, in this case two. And for the last, as always, put false. Repeat the process for the unit price column, only here, which column of the table you want depends on whether column G says retail or wholesale. So for the third argument of the VLOOKUP, use an IF statement. If column G says retail, use column 3. Otherwise, use column 4. Multiply unit price by number of units in order to see what the total sale was for a given transaction. Finally, copy the formulas from the first row into the rest of the rows, and take the sum of column H to get total billings.